So I want to get back to Snoop because when it comes to you, like he's the biggest hypocrite, man. And he makes you out to be this raging maniac going at Biggie. So, um, according to Frank Alexander, who was bodyguarding Snoop and the Dog Pound when they filmed New York, New York in Times Square, he states in his book, Biggie gets on the radio and says, I cannot believe New York is allowing Snoop, Tupac, and the Dog Pound to shoot a video in Times Square. What kind of shit is this, baby, baby? This is our city, and you know the beef we have with these motherfuckers. And then Frank said uh, he went over to Snoop, and Snoop put his arm around him and started screaming, What up, Biggie? Motherfucker, we here? We here? We got our boys? Security's hot, too. Come on, bitch. Bring it on. Bring it on. Frank said he looked at this tall, crazy nigga like, Nigga, you motherfucking crazy. That's what I'm saying, bruh. And that right there really fueled me to right hit him up. Frank tells no lies, dude. When they got back to California, they told me what happened. And Snoop, Mr. Martin Luther King, was ready for war. He was talking mad shit about Biggie. Fuck that fat motherfucker. Lazy eyed bitch. Snoop was going off on a nigga. Shit, he got me hyped. Shit, he even dissed Biggie in a song the next day, and me and the dog pound did a song dissing him too. But it was a spur of the moment thing, you know, because niggas was fuming. So you can imagine how I felt when we go back to New York and he gets on the radio and say Puff and Big is friends, and everybody needs to make peace. But he wasn't expressing that to me though. He had me thinking he was riled with me. Like he rolled with Dre when he dissed Easy, Cube, and Luke. So you can imagine how I feel. Talking about he didn't like hit him up. But in front of me, he bobbed his motherfucking head saying, oh shit. And what this nigga say talking about he had a knife and a fork. And was going to stab one of us if we touched him. Nobody was worried about that little poodle and his butter knife. Because that's the only knife that he had, a butter knife. And if he would have attacked us with that, he would have died that day. But anyway, I promise you, I promise you when I see this nigga is on. Go get your butter knife. You're going to need a Snoopy when I catch you.